Hi guys, it's Ian Miles here and I'm talking to you from none other than the hot and sunny Marbella. Now it is so amazing here guys, it's 30 plus degrees every day, it's hot, it's sunny and there are so many attractive girls out and it's just really incredible. Now guys, in case you missed it, we're actually running our Marbella bootcamp right here and right now and there have been some amazing interactions and it's been a real, real blast. Okay, so before we get into the nitty gritty aspects of this video, guys, I just want to remind you of my various social media pages that's my Instagram and my Facebook pages which you can follow me and write down right down below okay so I find myself walking along this fancy promenade in the middle of Marbella one night with one of my clients here in fact it was pretty much as soon as we landed right here now we're actually fresh off the block and we're still kind of wide-eyed and we're still really discovering the area anyway as we're walking along we're walking along this fancy promenade and I'm kind of bewildered by all of the fancy yachts the really expensive cars and the crowds and crowds of people with their Ralph Lauren polos. The place actually basically reminds me of Oxford Street in London except you know there's no waterfront with boats whereas here you do. So as we're walking along we're making our way past this masses and masses of people who are speaking various different languages when all of a sudden I spot two really attractive girls that just kind of walk past us and we can see that you know they were flaunting their really good summer outfits which is really tight and they're really looking really trendy they were actually looking quite British now at this point I could feel my clients eyes just pop out his sockets he was getting a bit restless so I had to kind of calm him down by raising my left arm you know I kind Kind of felt like Maximus in Gladiator when he's storming through that woodland on that horseback and he's shouting to his fellow horsemen to hold the line as this guy he was so ready to go so I kind of just usher to him to just let them walk past because you don't want to seem like you, you want to approach them face on it's actually a really bad strategy and you don't want to be perceived as one of those guys who works in those clubs and you know or even just someone like a chugger so when you let them walk past it kind of makes the whole approach appear much more genuine and especially later on in the interaction as it kind of portrays that the approach was much more of a spontaneous thing than it actually was so anyway you know they walk past us but as they do they get lost in this huge crowd of people and we turn around and we're actually struggling to find them let alone to even get to them you know so I kind of lead my client into their direction whilst I'm actually struggling my way through this kind of vast Amazon of people along the seafront and I eventually get myself a plow myself through and Eureka we finally get there so anyway I order my client to give it a go as he's not as proactive as he should be and so he really needs that training and he really needs that desensitization so I push him forward into the interaction and as he then walks ahead like he's you know he's a man sent on the front line about to fulfill a brave duty and I can see that he starts the conversation with the girls really just fine you know despite the fact that they continue to walk on but my client you see he doesn't give up and I can see that he starts the conversation with the girls just fine despite the fact that they you know they continue to walk on but my client just doesn't give up so easily and he keeps talking and he keeps that conversation going which is amazing so anyway I make my way to that scene and as I get there I can see that that the girls are not giving him an easy time at all you know they're very testy in a very very British way well at least one of them was really really testy and you know I, I didn't quite understand what she was trying to imply by the way that she responded and you know I, I think that she thought we were one of those kind of filthy rich kids who just wanted to buy them for one night or you know something something like that you know it did kind of strike me as being a bit rude and being a bit negative and I was slightly annoyed by it but then I was actually so determined to actually get my point across you know I felt like I didn't even have the time to talk about myself or, or express myself my true personality but yeah look one of the girls was clearly the leader in the pack the alpha chick you know whilst the girl on, on my right was so much more timid and so much more quiet but anyway as the conversation went on they slowly kind of dropped their guard and they really began to relax as you know they could see that we really weren't after anything degrading and we were genuinely looking for a nice time together you know I suppose you, you really can't judge the initial stages of any sort of interaction and it may be a smooth ride or it may be a really bumpy ride but you really can't judge and you just need to stick to your game stick to your guns 
stick to the plan and just execute. So as we talked for longer, the interaction really began to lighten up and the girls were really beginning to smile and then I finally kind of proposed to them, why don't we go for drinks together? And they finally willingly said, cool, let's do it. So guys, at this stage and whilst we were looking for that bar, I must say the dominant girl had the much bigger personality and you know she was talking and she was laughing and she was really having a good time however her friend was so quiet she was so boring and so dead that it kind of began to annoy me a little bit and began I began to think whether this whole thing really was worth it you know I, I think I even said to her you you know you're really quiet and she just said yeah I am you know and so we continued on to the bar so we finally find this bright colored bar which kind of reminded me of five guys but instead it had green neon lights it was blatantly some kind of ripoff off the brand so anyway we walk in and we sit outside in the front terrace which you know actually looked really nice and it was really spacious now the funny thing was as we walked over to our table the girls were actually sat where I wanted them to sit initially and they were actually moving over to those exact right spots such that my one was sat right on my right hand side and my clients girl was on his left hand side now it's funny because even I had to even physically shove my client to the right space as he was going somewhere so much further away so at this stage you know we're established that my target is actually the quieter of the two whereas my clients girl is actually getting louder and so much more vivacious so as the night progresses it kind of becomes a three-way conversation between the louder girl and us two and you know it this really isn't ideal and I honestly try my best with the quiet one but she is really simply just she wouldn't budge however what I noticed here was really strange you know I was kind of expecting that they would leave when the waiter asked if they wanted more drinks but it was to my shock and awe my quiet girl actually asked me if I wanted to have another round of drinks you know this is very interesting indeed so I thought to myself okay let's stick around and let's see what happens so we have a few more sips of the drinks and then finally lo and behold she lightens up and she starts speaking oh thank lord in fact you know it all began to escalate all from here really quickly after this point and we started exchanging more smiles together and we even started to push each other like kind of in a friendly way and then we locked eyes for an extended moment you know as we locked eyes together she kind of kicked me with her feet oh dear god what what was she playing at now and then i realized that yeah, okay she just wanted a little bit of footsie under the table which which was you know which was hilarious and it was really funny so as the night went on you know things really began to escalate and it was literally like that dinner scene from the wedding crashes movie Google it if you haven't seen it. Let's just say that there were periods in the night when the quiet girl and I were just looking at over at my client and the girl, really dumb face and completely ignoring the words that they were saying, the words that they were coming out of their mouth. So I guess the moral of the story here is you really can't judge how interaction is going to go in the initial three seconds and neither can you judge it in the first 30 minutes. You know, you just have to keep going. You may encounter a girl or even a group of girls who will appear completely uninterested to your, and your immediate reaction might be to give up but you know I must admit I did think about giving up myself because you know the girl who I was with was really wasn't engaging enough and she was so quiet but you know what I decided not to I mean I was so curious why they or should I say why my quiet girl why she wanted to go for that drink and you know why yet she was so hesitant to converse with that in the first place guys sometimes you just have to go by the actions of the girls that you're interacting with now what I mean is if for example you know you ask for some sort of compliance from a girl such as asking to say go for the drinks and they agree to that then that in itself is a positive sign so don't be too quick to judge the interaction purely based on how interested that the girl may seem as she might seem she might be really tired or she might be you know not be feeling the best or in fact she just might be feeling really nervous so you can't really judge the interaction really early on and keep going keep moving forward and take that risk and ask for compliance and make suggestions to say go for drinks or you know ask for numbers and just see what happens so anyway I'm going to show you a little bit of infill footage here right now where something similar happened to Mr. Karma Lifestyles and myself. So let's watch the footage. Yeah, yeah absolutely. There we see what we have to do. Yeah, we have to do a couple of hours. Okay. So you got to see half day, half way. Yeah. So have you been really passive at all? Yeah. Have you been a friend from the place? I like my beer. I've been here. Yeah, yeah. Jordy's a really... Yeah, so I enjoy it. 
Yeah, but he his English isn't great, so obviously... It's just a lot of awkward silence. Yeah, yeah. but maybe, maybe the guys are not genuinely, like, loved. Maybe. Possibly. How can you, how, how can you deny, like... No. I mean, when there's a language barrier, <laughs> it could be an issue. Not really, yeah. No, I don't, want, I don't know if I could learn to speak Russian. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a bit hard. Yeah, it's quite a hard language. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I mean, that's the thing. Like, I've like, got a bit of fun on the side, so I'm trying to, like, put it with that. Sugar, sugar, mama. Exactly. Right, should we get a drink then? We should go for a drink, actually. We can go for a drink, yeah. Yeah. Um, Where about to you guys in the Like, we were thinking we can go Shaker to. Shaker 7? Yeah, the Shakers or. <laughs> there's the, the beach bars, the bar beaches. Anywhere the bar beaches. The bar beaches. Anywhere I'm not bothered, I don't mind. Yeah? You decide, I don't know. Yeah? So, um. So the blonde girl that I was engaging with was actually really friendly, incredibly nice and really chatty and everything was just going really really well. However from time to time I would look over to the interaction that Emery was having with her friend and I can see that she was acting just a little bit standoffish. You know she wasn't really warming up to his presence or you know to our presence whatsoever. So we carry on the interaction and Emery keeps talking to her friend despite this minor observation and as you can see from the footage you know we still convinced the girls to go for drinks with us and much much more so guys you know we will never know what goes on in girls heads so it's important to just let go and set free your judgments when you're interacting with women you know you will associate her inactivity or say her standoffishness to a past experience that you've had or something that someone may have told you okay but remember that look this isn't the truth and this is just an opinion so really let go of those beliefs, those limiting beliefs and let go of any prejudices that you have in this type of situation as it will make you so much more relaxed and it will prevent you from persisting with the conversation. So just realize that, look, she might simply be really tired. You know, she might be hungover or she might not be feeling the best for whatever reason. So you've got to be the guy to light up her day and make her feel good. Now guys, one thing that I've learned in this world is that nothing comes for free. You know, you have to put in the effort to make Make things happen okay so focus on your dating strategy and focus on how you can make that conversation with her a little bit more interesting and never give up okay keep that conversation going despite of what you see in front of you despite of any negative reaction that you might have from her okay so going back to the infield footage now as the interaction progressed and as time went on I could see that Emery's girl really began to slowly lighten up you know she finally began to smile after a certain point in the night which seemed like a miracle to me so really credit to him for sticking in there and you know he was completely unfazed and, and actually when I asked him about the interaction later on he had no doubt in his mind, he had actually zero doubt in his mind that he would go the full way with her. So you can see you really can't judge how an interaction is going to go purely based on the initial stages. Now whether it's only after a few minutes or even after 30 minutes you really have to just stick in there for so much longer to just see how personalities evolve over time. Anyway guys that's all from me today and I really do hope that you've enjoyed this brief talk. Now I have many more videos to come at Karma TV. Now guys as I mentioned at the start of this video don't you dare forget to follow me on my various social media pages which you can find right here right down below as I regularly post free content on there too. And I'd also really appreciate it if you could give this video a big thumbs up. So today you were joined by Ian Miles and I'll see you next time.